Station District. <laughs> oh, me. All right, so pretty much exactly where I left off last time. Um, now, I did, I have purchased, the, wow, that's a lot of ornaments. A lot of ornaments. I did go ahead and I bought the railway ornaments. Um, not that I'm, I'm still kind of like ambivalent towards them, but went ahead and bought them. So railway halls, railway platforms, coal towers, uh, guard huts, cranes, tanks, signals, electric poles, construction trailers, huh? construction cranes. Okay. The scaffolding's kind of kind of cute. Aisle driver. What's up, Luke? Pipes, water pipes, construction fencing. I do kind of like the fencing. Like I, I like this fencing better than the um let's see, where's uh where's a mine at somewhere on this godforsaken island? Oh, like over here, over here, over here, over here. So, like, I would, I would, I could see the construction fencing being used to really good effect around like your mines. If I can find somewhere to st stick this guy for a moment here. Uh, let's get rid of him. Because I never really liked the walls. I never really liked the little walls and stuff that came with the industrial pack. But these guys, which apparently you can't put it over top of a road. I guess you have to put it in first and then drag the road through it. That's kind of stupid. Whatever. Um... Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, go, go away, everybody. I like that more than I... Okay, those are backwards, though. That's that's annoying. Okay, so I guess I have to go through. I don't know why it's on the opposite side. I guess just flip it. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Anyways... Oh, I see. Okay. I have this backwards. That's what's the deal. I have that backwards. Oh, well, I don't care. Anyways, I, I like this around the mines better than the walls. I think it looks I think it looks a little bit better. Um, wish I could change the ground plate to not be tile, but whatever. Uh, then there's the scaffolding, so tiny, all kinds of scaffolding pieces. Of course, all the water pipes, elevated water pipes, funsies, I guess, rail signals, railway warning signs, yield signs, electric poles. Ah. Okay, the electric pole thing is kind of... The electric pole thing makes no sense. Okay. Hear me out on this. The electric pole thing to me... Like, what is that for? Like... It's it's not an actual electric pole. Normally when I would see these things, they would actually go across the railroad tracks. And then um, electric trains would have the uh, poles on top that connect with them to provide power. I don't have any idea what this ornament, what this electric pole is supposed to represent because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like it, it's, it doesn't work to, these trains aren't electric. It doesn't provide power. It, it's, it's the most awkward ornament ever. It's just a, it's a very awkward ornament. I don't understand the point of it. I mean, I'm I 
I'm not running electricity to signals, maybe? I don't think so. No, I've never seen... I mean, I'm not a huge train person, but I mean, I do have some understanding of trains and signals and how all that works, and I've never seen anything like that before. So, I, I don't know. That's, that's a very awkward ornament to me. Um, but yeah. Well, some of this stuff is kind of is kind of neat. Now there's the platforms, which I kind of like those. Um, Shut up and take my money. Emmy, Emmy, thank you so much for four months in a row. I appreciate that. Welcome back with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm all turned around here. I mean, you could go over here and make a whole rail yard. Which honestly would be kind of nice to, you know, actually build a true rail situation here. The coal tower in there. Look, I have a, I have my first actual ornament. We have a coal tower now. And that's fancy. That's so fancy. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, exactly, Railjet. The electric trains, like. And they weren't like for trains. The power, the electric poles going over top of rail tracks, those are actually more for um, trams and trolleys in cities, not for trains. So I really have zero clue as to what this railway electric pole is for. So that that was used for like trams and trolleys. I I, I don't know the purpose of this of this ornament. This that ornament makes no sense to me. So. Yeah. Oh, God. Stop doing that. There we go. So, we got a coal tower. Put a railway platform. Have you heard? We're at war. Guard hut? No, oh, you can't even collect, uh, connect these things together. Are you Okay, so you could put them between two different ones. If you wanted to. Make like a little rail yard. Oh, why not? Let's have a little fun with it. Today is just a fun, chill day. I'm tired of building houses in this game right now. I don't want to build houses. Don't want to build no more homes. Um... Maybe it's a telegraph pole? I mean, it specifically says electricity pole, so I I don't know. I don't know about that. It specifically says electricity pole, so... I'm just going by what it specifically says that it is. And then questioning what the purpose of it is. A water tower. Oh, now that... Oh, now that's a cool little ornament. I didn't even see this one. A little railway crane? Oh, I kind of like that. Now that's kind of... I like this little ornament. Yeah, Anno is a bit special at times. I like this little crane. It's kind of cool. That's fun. The ornament, your water... No, it doesn't, but that's not the... That, that's not... I, I, I knew I knew as soon as I said that it does, I knew that someone would say that. That's not kind of what I was talking about. It, I knew someone would say that, but it's it's more like I still don't understand why this is a thing. Like I don't understand what its purpose is supposed to be. Like what is this supposed to represent? Kind of thing. No, it doesn't. It just drags. No, it do, it does. There's no wires in between it. Uh, it's just an aw uh, it's just an awkward ornament to me. Okay, just leave me alone. Let me have my awkward ornament. Let me let me make fun of my awkward ornament, okay? Just let me have this. 
Um, I want to move him. Do I have any? Okay, I do have moves on. Good. Uh, let's just shove you back out of the way somewhere. How about that? Here. Yeah, come on up there. Get out of my way. I'm busy. Want to make a little rail yard right here? I mean, I can't relocate. Oh, God, it's because it has that stupid item in it. You can't build my rail yard because I can't move the dang... can't move that. It's so annoying. We're going to build a rail yard that's going to make people who actually deal with rails cringe at how, at how unrealistic this is. Because... Trains don't move like that. <laughs> an, a tr an engineer would see that and just absolutely cringe at the thought of that. Of, of that. <laughs> like, that's not how trains work. That's not how trains work. Curious about something. What are we using right now? The Imperial train? Let's use something else. Use the North Sea coaster. Nice sharp 90 degree train turn. I know. It, it's super realistic. Super realistic with the 90 degree train turns. As soon as this right here runs out, I can finish building the rest of my uh, little train yard right here. The little pipes go overhead. Like, where am I supposed to put all this crap? Of course, I don't. They don't have to redesign the whole city just for this. Get some rest. It's going to be a long I'm just kind of looking around. I'm seeing what all there is. Sawing station. Interesting. I do like the big crane right there. Like we need a big crane right here next to the next to everything. Are different construction sites? No, just just the one. Shut up. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I left some space over on Winchester. I think I did. That uh Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I left some space right here. Will this thing fit? Oh, it will. Okay, good. What is it? A three by three? I can put two of them next to each other? Look at that! I can't see it. Down there. Yay! There we go. That's what I was wanting to see. Put a train station in down here. Or train yard, rather, or whatever it's called. Train hall, I think is what they called it. Hey, haha. -ha. How's it going? Wait, where did he... Oh, God, I'm lost. Where did I go with that? Roaring locomotives and halls of steel and glass. Quite the upgrade over horse-drawn carts and ramshackle staging posts. So it's not like a passenger rail station. It's a... It's an industrial rail station. That's interesting. It is an industrial rail station. The small... God, I can't even get to it all. Then there's whatever this is. This one about. Shelter from the rain while you wait for the train. Sting. Hmm.
Oh, there's, oh, there's two different ones. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, it's very industrial, obviously. Hmm. Prepping a party is hard. I just wish to take some time. Chill time. Some chili time. Some chili time. Oh, I want some chili now. Chili? Okay, so... Basically, I've seen people making, like... Or trying, rather, to make, like... Um, whoops, sorry. Passenger rail stuff. And I'm not sold on people trying... Like, the people with the passenger rail stuff. Because it's very, you know, there's nothing passengery about it. It's all cargo. It's all very, it's all cargo related. What's my opinion on the new pack? It, you know, it, 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 it's okay. It helps dress. It'll help. It helps dress up your industrial areas more. So you know, that's like that's fine. Yeah, and that's a good thing. Just destroyed all of our rail. Blown up here. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. You know, it helps dress up your industrial areas a lot. So, you know, that's that's not a bad thing. You know, it's just it's just some de it's just some decorations. Oh, you know what? I'm actually I'm curious about something. What does it say about that? Gently humming harbingers of mod of modernity. Okay, so it doesn't really tell me. What, what the heck it's actually supposed to be. I want to read all the little notes on them. Mind the gap. Yeah, we saw that one already. Coal tower. Train spotter's paradise. Guard hut. Not the, not the stupid skyscraper. Home to the most scrupulous ticket inspector in the hemisphere. See, it's... It's kind of weird... Like, it's obviously supposed to be, uh, it's obviously supposed to be industrial, but then, like, there's things to telling you about, you know, waiting for your train to come in, or, you know, the ticket inspector. It's like, but that's passenger related, not industrial related. It, it, it's like it doesn't know if it wants to be industrial or a passenger train. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to me. It's like they can't decide what it actually is. What's the CDLC in the workers bar? It's that. I mean, it's the industrial pack. We already had it. This is this is our this is already there. The new the new pack is just this, the railway ornaments. That's all. It's all right here. Railway and construction stuff. Use it near bus stops? I mean, I guess you could. I mean, the bus stops already have, uh... Bus stops already have, like, a waiting area. I mean, the bus stops already have a, a little pavilion to, to wait in. Plus, they use the white plaza tile. And then these use the, uh, the gray tile. And so, they kind of, they clash with each other. Kind of clash with each other because they use different textures. So, yeah. I, I mean, it's... Five out of ten. I give it a five out of ten. It's all right. It's not, I mean, it's kind of cool, but it, it's like it doesn't know what it exactly wants to be. Like, it doesn't know if it wants to be uh, passenger-related or industrial-related. And then, of course, there's the my, my whole constant issue with the rail tracks themselves. Um, so that kind of, that kind of kills it for me. The construction stuff is kind of neat. Um, we're going to go try to work some of that in. Brown Falls. Um, again, I I did have to start an hour late, but I can't go an hour later. I've already got a bunch of stuff planned for this evening, uh, for this afternoon. I've got a lot going on. 
So I can only stream till about, let's see, it's 11.20 right now. So I can only stream until about um, 2 o'clock. So a three-hour stream, basically. That's about all I'm going to have time for today, unfortunately. This week has just been... This week has just been a mess for me. This week has been an absolute mess. Okay, I have him turned the wrong way. He has to turn that way for water. Put the oil over there. The oil and water. I mean, it just it just looks janky to me. <laughs> it just it looks so. <sighs> not gonna sit here and get mad. I'm not gonna sit here and get mad. she at okay no I'm gonna tell you it looks janky okay railroads do not go at 90 degree turns I know the game is based on a grid and so that's what they did but it was just a poor decision on their part to to do this you know they wanted to have rails that's oh god I've done Oh, I'm so not in the mood for this already. All right, fine. Go down. Give me all my stupid people back. What the fuck am I running out of? Excuse my language. I'm so tired of dealing with these damn tourists. What? What is your issue? We're running out of flour. All right, fine. We have completely run out of flour. Flour was coming from down here, I believe. Trade routes. Flour was going from there to Concerne, and then I think from Concerne back up there. Hold on, let me double check this. Bruh. Bruh. Tokyo, Concerne, and then up there. Okay. Concerne, Crown Falls, Tokyo. Okay, yeah. Underproducing flour by a touch. Fine. Add more in. There. We good now? Love when I'm angry. <laughs> I get so tired of it. Like, I, I feel like all I ever do is try to play catch up. Like, I can't get anything done because all I'm ever doing is playing catch up constantly. It's just a constant game of, you know, what's not working now. And I'm just so bored of it. I think I'm no, but it's only an observation of the line on the Iron Tower doesn't go to 100%. No, it's not the Iron Tower. It has nothing to do with the Iron Tower. Um, native what it is is i was i ran out of goods i ran out of uh, i ran out of flour for my cafes most of my cafes are all producing the same thing okay they're all producing mostly the same stuff so i ran out of that which caused all of my hotels to lose access to it and so i started losing the population because i didn't have cafe access at my hotels same thing over here. All of all of my hotels are losing tourists, and so when I start losing the tourists from that, it creates a chain reaction effect, and then it's just a disaster. So it's just it's a chain. It's a just a whole. It's just a mess. It's like when one thing for the tourists run out, it causes a chain reaction, and the tourist industry falls apart. It's such a pain. I, I I hate tourists for that one reason. I just I hate them for that one reason. All right. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Even Darren from a public play have these. Uh, that well, there is. God, hold on a second now. There is a bug when you first load up the game that tourists. 
that the hotels won't be fully supplied or won't be they won't be full basically and you'll actually run out of tourists it's a bug that's been going on forever and they just can't get their shit together to fix it And it, it's a bug because when you first load the game up, or when you are load the game up early on, it fixes itself eventually, unless you get into a situation where you have, like, the Iron Tower, and you are basically using up all of your tourists, and you run out of tourists, and then everything else starts running out, and it just, it's just, it's stupid. And they can't seem to figure out how to fix it. So, it's just, it's really annoying. It's kind of like the bug the other day where I was like randomly losing like one or two investors every 30 seconds for no reason. And it made me so mad I just quit playing because I was so tired of dealing with it. <laughs> All right, excuse me for one second. Okay. Sweet, sweet itchily. I got into some poison ivy the other day, and it's on the side of my finger, and it itches. It itches so mad. So bad. More airships? Eh, okay. Agree to disagree. I mean, unless you just like airships, and you just think they're going to be fun. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not really sold yet on the concept of the airships. You had an impact. <laughs> you did it. You did native. You had a good it. You had a good one. Sorry, I'm trying to. I have to let this dry for a second because it's like right on the side of my finger where I'm trying to use the mouse. Okay. How are we doing? Still just waiting on more. Fine. Uh, do I have like an a, an extra supply of it anywhere? No, not really. It's going to take a little while for it to get itself back together. That's fine. Alright, I think we're starting to run out of oil, possibly. Did we run out of oil up here? Where am I losing all my investors at this time? I'm... What the? Oh, it's because... Wait, no. Celluloids. I ran out of celluloids. All right. Well, I guess I guess I got to go fix everything again. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm start. I'm, I'm honestly, guys, I'm just getting tired of this. I, all I ever do is just sit here and fight with this damn game. I'm not, it's not even fun, to be honest with you. I'm making enough celluloids. Why are you running out? Oh, let's see. All right, let's change this up here. Take you off of there. Trelawney, just put another ship on there completely.
wonder where that other one is at. Where's that reefer at? And you are going to just do felt. Now... Toss that overboard because we don't care. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, tired of running out. Eh, maybe not that much. One extra. Okay. And, of course, we're going to need more camphor wax. Thinking I'm running out of room everywhere for these guys. Start kind of squeezing them in where I can. And let's just do it this way. Camphor groves. That way I don't have to wait. I don't want to wait. Yeah, tree planting for the orchards was a really good change. Alright, let's see. Is that enough camphor now? Yes, and yes. Good. Now, stop running out of stuff. I'm so tired of running out of everything at the moment. I'm just, I'm over it. Work. Just work. Okay. I'm going to take him just a few to get the flower, I think, coming up in here. Where's that? What was that trade route bringing the flower back and forth? Hmm. Pause him. What is this thing right here doing? He's just taking... wood and wood and tallow from Pinzan to Tokyo. Alright, you are now only for that. Okay. What's up, Twinkling? How's it going? Alright, then I need another trade route. Just need a small ship, you'll do. Or just go right there for right now. That'll work. I should, I, I'm importing all the grain, and somewhere I'm importing all the grain. I mean, it's full, anyways. Yeah, we're we're fine. I'm importing grain, so it's 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 more than enough. Look at all the little cars. 
Okay, let's see. I want to double check that trade route, make sure it's working correctly. Seriously? I don't have enough windows. Oh, whatever. And I don't have enough of those to upgrade to advanced peers, and everybody's just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Turn into a Roman emperor, handing out free grain to the plebs. Pretty much. Okay, so stop running out of stupid stuff. I mean, look how much grain is sitting over there. Let's go. Not grain, but flour. Let's, uh. I don't know what you're doing, but you're about to. About to come down here and do a pickup. I really want to decorate, but I gotta fix everything. You want. Escort quest. I'll bring down my Royal Ship of the Lines for that one, why not? Where are y'all? There you are. I'm just gonna do a massive pickup of grain. I keep saying grain, flour. Flower. Flower. All right. Pick that up here. I I have docklands everywhere. Um. I moved, so this island was kind of annoying, actually. Do I put Docklands down here because it's faster for um, Tobias to get to get to Docklands from here than it is for him to get to it from over here to over here. It saves a little bit of time, uh, but I may end up moving it back because I want that loading speed increase because I'm really tired of it waiting for so long. Escort that guy, please. Okay. But yes, I... Building docklands on all of your islands is kind of one of those duh things to me, Ogre. It's like, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah, it's a really good coast for docklands because it's so wide. Okay. We have some, we have some stuff. I could go on for quite a while about what I'm sick of. I'm not going to do it, though. Not going to do it. Um, okay. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And that. That's That's got to go, too. There we go. Lovely. Okay. I'd like a new game at this point. I know everyone is like, Anno's the best game ever. I, I just want a new game. I want something else. To, I want a new Anno game. How many, times can, how many times can I sit around and do the same thing over and over again in this one? Remember if he was there for a particular reason or not. It doesn't look like he was. It's just there. Okay. Time to buy this month's C D L C pretty much.
none of these ornaments do anything for me for over here. Like, I don't have railways, and so, like, none of these ornaments are going to look right. They'll, they'll all kind of look just randomly placed over here. For no reason. Eh. Meh. Eh. Oh. It's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Some people are excited for new airships and some people aren't, so. I really think, it, I, I do believe that. I, I agree with that uh, statement completely, Gilead. It will, it really will diminish the Arctic's airship. Like, you know, especially if they're, I mean, and, well, you're going to have to assume that the uh, airships in the DLC are going to be better than the Arctic airship. Otherwise, what's the point? So then it's going to be like, well, the air, why even, what's even the point of the Arctic airships anymore? You'll just go up there now just to get gas still like you do for the gas power plants. But the Arctic airship will be, uh, uh, you know, it, it'll be maybe... Uh, it depends on when... Do we know when airships will be unlocked? Do they say anything about when airships would get unlocked? I think it depends on when they get unlocked. In the new world. You know, and how much they cost and everything else. How much that, you know, how much will they cost compared to a, um... A, a, a airship in the Arctic, you know, several, there's several factors that will go into it, I would say. Yeah, I agree, Gilead. The Arctic was unique because it had airships. Now it's going to be mostly just there for gas only. Oh, and people complaining that there's not enough gas in the Arctic and, you know, they, they can't build everything because they don't have enough gas. And I'm going to sit there and be like, it's still not supposed to be like that. That's not what it's for. You know, I could totally just use these as a loading platform. S screw the whole idea of it. What's up, Cassie? I mean, that still is like a perfectly fine little loading platform. People been... That's... You are not wrong there. Oh, I'm not going to fight you because I agree with you. I think the Arctic airship would bring the clipper of airships, and the new DLC will offer different versions of airship, a schooner version, the cargo. Maybe we'll see. I have a I have a sneaking suspicion based on just how they typically do their DLC content that it's going to render the airship in the Arctic completely useless. They uh th they have a tendency to kind of come out with a new feature that completely uh, nullifies and negates something from the game all that we already have. So. I would not put it past them to completely make the Arctic airship useless. That would be that would be kind of par for the course. Ever. Yeah, they ha they have a bad tendency to to do stuff like that and negate entire portions of their game with a new DLC. So I wouldn't put it past them. What's a, what's an example? What's an example? Docklands Research Institute. There's two right there. Um, tourists, money, skyscrapers, population and influence. Uh, the Great Eastern, basically every other cargo ship in the game. 
uh, Great Eastern being able to build more of them completely negates the uniqueness of a legendary ship. Every single overpowered item in the game, such as Bruno Ironbright, Chef Michelle, completely negating the need for a lot of different chains and giving you ridiculous amounts of overproduction. Although those were with the base game and not DLC content, so I guess that doesn't count, but they still count in my mind because I hate them. Even though I use them, I hate them. Uh, the Hacienda, not needing fertilities for the vast majority of the New World stuff. I, I'll go on. Yeah, actually, I kind of like using them like this. They don't have to be for, you know, they could be like little loading cargo areas for, you know, industrial air, industrial facilities. I can, I can get behind little stuff like that. I can get behind that. That works. A little something like that right there. A little loading. Make it a loading area in the back. There we go. Little loading area back there. Take this and move him over by a tile. Go right there. And there you go, see? Now your warehouse has a loading area in the back. I can get behind that. That's kind of fun. Let's see. I do with these little dudes. I'm just going to add in random stuff, I guess. Whole thing, maybe not. Pipes or something underground. I still don't know about I still don't know about these overground pipes that Yo, that's annoying. I have to change it manually to that. There we go. Well, that's kind of annoying. You have to manually change those. Speaking of which, I need to go over here and change this so I can... Uh, back over here before I start losing all my population again. Oh, we was about to run out. Or we're going to run out in a moment. Yeah, sorry. I, I The auto mod is just being really annoying right now and making me aggravated. My view, the devs are stuck. They need to create new ideas within within the two base regions. So if there is no new region, they can't create new ideas without falling onto something already done. In my view, the dev... Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then people say the DLCs are too base, etc. So I'll put it to you. What does Anno 1800 need without adding a new region? It needs to end. I have said this like a thousand times. They need to just quit and make a new game. That's what they need to do. <laughs> They need to, they need to, well, and I'm, I'm 99% sure they already are working on another game. Um, I'm pretty sure that they already are working on another game in the series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and that to me is why 
the DLC content has honestly been less and less here lately. It's not been as grand as Land of Lions because they have been starting to devote, devote more and more resources to the net to starting to work on the next game. And but Ubisoft, the parent company, not not Ubisoft, the developers, but Ubisoft, the parent company, you know, is wanting them to continue to try to make as much cash off of this game as possible, which is why you still see um, it was why we're still seeing, you know, content come out for it, because as a as a company, they still are being told that you have to, you know, make funds. You have to make cash off of this game still somehow. So the only way they can do that at the moment is to continue putting out small DLCs and everything for the game. Which ultimately diminishes the enjoyment of longtime players because, you know, we're just kind of like, oh God, can we just be done already? Yeah, I don't think the developers are milking the game. Well, they are because they're having to, they're making the content, but it's it's Ubisoft, the parent company, that is um, milking, essentially. Well, honestly, though, Native, how big do you think the fan base still is? I mean, they were really happy that they sold 2 million copies of Anno 1800 in in about three years. I mean, that's, that's not bad. If we look at a game like Cities Skylines, it's been out for seven years, and it's sold 12 million copies. And it still, to this day, is one of the top-selling city builder games on Steam. And Epic. it's the one of the top city building games ever, period. So, you know, they've done very well. But how many of those 2 million copies sold are still playing? There's a lot of people on my Discord server that don't play anymore. They hang out, they're, they're, they're around to hang out with me and to watch the videos and chat and stuff. There's a lot of people that aren't playing anymore. Go over to the subreddit. Subreddit is fairly quiet a lot of times you know there's there's posts but it's the same people basically you see the same names over and over you know it's it's not you don't see a lot of new faces you i did you still you do see some i mean i even get the occasional comment on videos that saying hey i just picked up the game found your contents yada 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 so you know yeah there's there's still people discovering the game for the first time which is great and i'm and i'm glad that they are but overall i would say that the game has lost a lot of its player base over time and then that's normal that that's nothing bad against anno that's normal for a game after a few years to start losing player base especially when you know the content may not be everything people want and it might not be interesting to people and they don't really they go in they play the new content and they're done you know you you know seeds of change came out they added in the hacienda i went to the new world i built my haciendas i'm done it, it's not it doesn't keep me engaged it's not in new engaging content that radically changes everything and every, all that. It's just a new little mechanic thrown in there. And then when you're done with it, you're done with it. And it's, it's over. You don't do anything else. That train. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he went. Do, 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 do. Yes. That's a big key right there. And that's, a, that's actually something that... I, some people have argued with me about saying that no modding does not uh improve the life of a game the gameplay does which is absolutely wrong i'm sorry if you say that i think you're wrong cities at skylines 
has endured so long and been so popular because of mods. I mean, it's almost it's almost a given fact that 90% of the player base is using mods of some kind. Um, the most watched videos for Anno, uh, not Anno, for, for C Skylines are about mods. Um, because, and because the company embraces the modding community. There's like four or 500,000 mods for Cities Skylines. And yes, there are cheat mods, but most of them are like massive quality of life and they add buildings. There's, there's like a, there's like 200,000 different mods buildings for city skylines just the sheer variety and that's actually something i've talked about in length as well about anno is the lack of variety um the lack of variety in anno it's like people are like oh but anno can build you can build the perfect european city in anno not really you've got like you've got five residential tiers with about Four models for each house. You know, all of your zoos and museums and stuff, they all kind of look alike except for a few random odd... It's not realistic looking, and it's very... It, it's not... There's not a lot of variety in the building styles. Now, luckily, the uh, modding community is amazing with this game, and they have created, you know, hundreds of different new things, like, you know... Uh, Tons of different stuff for the game. And they have increased the variety. Um, but it's nowhere near the variety that I like. We disagree on that, though. Aesthetic is great. Then that is a personal... that That's a personal play of view choice, though, Gilead. So we can't really agree or disagree. That's just a, a personal choice on how you enjoy playing a game and what you value. I don't I don't think that you can say someone is right or wrong about aesthetic versus realism. There's no right or wrong there. It's simply just you prefer aesthetics, I prefer realism. And that's kind of like the that's that's kind of just it. I'm gonna put another one of these little crane things somewhere. I like these little crane things. Shut up, Gilead. <laughs> you're like you're worse than Wario. Um, oh, that ain't gonna work. Dang it! I don't know. There's my funky little train yard. It's the height of realism. Tourist dropping. No, restaurant again. No, wait, huh? He ran out of citrus. Okay, he ran out of citrus. Where was citrus? What was... I think all of my citrus was coming from... Yeah. So my citrus is like going, it's Tukapan and then every island up here. But I, I fixed this. Er this is something I know I fixed earlier. Tell me how it, it can't be. Uh, it's. What? I worked on that early. Okay. I'm confused. I fixed this like seven episodes ago and I haven't changed anything that would require more citrus. How am I out of citrus now? Someone explain this to me. I fixed it earlier. I wasn't out of citrus. How am I out of citrus now? Stupid game.
Did I take an item out? Is that why would I have done that? Whatever. There, it's fixed now. Apparently, I took an item out up for some reason, and that I don't know why I did that. Anyways, anyhow. Orchards, orchards were the, uh, they were a good idea. They were very poorly implemented. That's how I feel about orchards. Great idea, poorly implemented. Another water tower up here. Actually, I'm just going to put in that kind of water tower. I'm supposed to put in that kind of little water tower. Saving up to be a real VIP. You saving up to 200,000? Okay. Let's see. And there we go. There's a there's a little rail yard. About as best as I can do. It looks so dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It looks so stupid. It's so bad. Like this game was just not. This game was just not meant for stuff like this. It just looks terrible. If I can clean this up at all. Try to make it not look like such hot, such hot garbage. I mean, it's just going to look bad with rails going at 90 degrees, no matter what you do. Because rails are not meant to be at 90 degrees. If I take that out. that out. Yeah, some blank tiles, maybe like a little couple pieces of cargo spread in. Ugh. Well, thank you. Building right there. Add in some of the other... Other stuff from the other DLCs. Um, Hold on a second, actually. Need a, we need a way to get over this railroad track right here. So maybe we'll put him there. Up there. kind of messing around with it a little bit trying to see what I can't if I can make this thing not look dumb that's a little bit better still doesn't look amazing but it's better than it was Oh, come on. There. Now, can I put this over here? Nah, it's gonna look kind of... Nah, it's gonna look weird. I guess that's not the worst. 
It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I, I should put that big, large railway hall in, actually. I don't really have a good spot for him. Like, he would actually look really good if I put him up there, but my road layout... I'm not going to redo my whole road layout just to try and get him in there. Or will I? Yeah. It's been a long time since I've sat around and just spent an entire time redesigning a city. Got a 4K monitor? Yeah, the game is not like 4K. Yeah, it, it just doesn't quite fit right, I agree. Um, we're going to try something right here, though. We're going we gonna to try a little something right here. A little something-something. Some. Get you for a moment, please. Connect you back up. Uh, whoops. Okay, everything get off of my screen before I lose my, my mind. Oh, I can't move the stupid building. <sighs> All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll deal with it in a second. Put him here, put him here, put them there. Take this out, put him here. Hey, I think we're getting somewhere. All right, see you later, native. platform down there. Water tower there. On uh, an electrical pole. But I still don't understand what it's for. Oh, that's true. That is true. But I wanted that to go that way is the thing. But I can, I can go without it. Yeah, because I can make this kind of like a loading area for the trade union and for this guy like that i could do that and then take all of this out put in the coal tower or whatever it's called yeah the coal tower right there A couple of cranes already. Put that water tower there. That side of it. Public transportation near your workplace, real estate value will increase. But yeah, but this is not public transportation, Gilead. It's a 
it's a it's a rail yard it's it's a it's a really fancy cargo station cargo hub that's all it is it's a really fancy cargo hub Eh, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. I'm still not... It, it's still kind of silly looking to me. Especially having so much in a line. I think it would just honestly look better if it was just a single line going down through there with some stuff on each side of it instead of trying to do all this because this just makes it look ridiculous. But, you know, I've obviously just completely not been able... I have not designed my city at all for this. And I just don't really know if I care enough to go through and, like... Because to make it look good, you would need... Oh, like, this right here is a good example. Take it right here. You basically go and leave enough space to go down through there. To do all this kind of stuff with it. All right up and down the line. I worry for our relations with the South. Something like this. And just cram it full of random odd and in stuff. Boom. There you go. There's an anno version of a of a train yard. You could bring it back in for a bit and then have just like basically little station areas and create a station along it. Um, I mean, that would look pretty neat. Coal tower would be a little more annoying to fit in because it's a lot bigger, but you know, you could squeeze that in somewhere near the end of the line or near the end of it all. Something like that. There you go. You can create like a little station. But you kind of have to... Does You'd have to plan for that way ahead of time. And then there's still... Yes. I hate the train line itself. You know the engineers in the house fought against it being in the zoning meeting? <laughs> yeah, probably. It's not quite, quite Carl's Platz, but it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. You know, it is what it is. It's it, To me, this is anno decorating. Just shoving as many ornaments as you possibly can into a small space. <laughs> that's that's anno decorating in my it, in my in my opinion. Just cram as much as you can into it. But the entire, but like none of my city is laid out for this at all. Like nothing. Like, well, this, well, but, you know, but this is behind the world's fair. I don't really want to do it there. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, what can you do with it? You know, you can't really do a lot to make it like super awesome looking. You know, it's very, it's very simplified. It's just very simple ornaments. I'll make that one have a crane on it. See, maybe this, uh, maybe this chemical factory has its own local. It's fancy. It gets its own local um, cargo yard right here.
with their own little water tower. That's pretty much all I can fit on that one. Well, uh, you know what? I'll put a coal yard back there behind it, even though it's not really right. Making the bus stops? Uh, trying to add the bus stops in after the fact is 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 kind of annoying. Hold on, I want to put a guard hut on this one instead. guard hut on that one. Put you up here. There we go. See? Little, little train depot right there. That's not bad. Just weasel. All right, what's up, guy? Thank you so much for three months in a row. Gotta go start the party. Today's my fiance's birthday. Aw. Well, tell her I said happy birthday. And have a good time. Thank you. Thank you again for three months, Just Weasel. I appreciate that. Welcome back in. This guy right here, I think I'm going to scooch him down just a touch. Bring him there, and then I can add in some train stuff over here on this side. Something like that, maybe. The water tower. I know water towers were, like, a big thing for steam locomotives. Like, water towers were, like, all over the place on, on them because they had to constantly have water for the boilers. That actually kind of dresses up the side of the uh, of it, makes it look a little interesting. Ship under attack. Why? Oh, it's fine. Shut up. Hmm. never know what to do right there. It's always just like the most awkward spot to try to do anything in. Old tanker. Old tank right there. That'll work. There we go. It's a few little odds and ends. Just trying to find any little spot that I could add stuff into. love to do something up through here. I really like this. I think I'm just going to leave this right here. Even though it's right alongside the palace, I think I'm just going to leave it because I like it. That's pretty much all the train area over there I had. So, we're still out of citrus, huh? He <laughs> twinkling. I like that idea. <laughs> I could see that. This stuff am I consuming? 18 per minute. And he is coming around with that citrus. Every eight minutes? About every eight-ish minutes. Knock that down to 250. 
Yeah, I don't have a lot of trains on this island, so I can't do a lot with it. But it's there. It's 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 okay. It's interesting enough, I guess. All right, I'm gonna get up and take a quick like little five minute ish break, or actually probably way less than five minutes, like a one minute break. I just gotta get up and stretch my legs for a second. So I'll be back in just a second, and we're going to uh, we're gonna do a little bit right here on this side of the island. All right, this little side of town right here has been horribly neglected for a long time, and uh, we're just gonna fill it up with some houses. It has been horribly neglected. Let's fill it in with homes. Because I am on a population. I, I even said I even said this uh, stream wasn't going to be about building houses, and I'm building houses. I need more people. We're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, and they did need. That right there. Not really feeling that anymore. Let's get rid of him. There we go. That would work. Yep, you're late to the party, Axel. Fired. You're fired, you're late. Alright. It's the rail yard. We'll go take a look at it here again here in a moment. I'm going to uh, do a little more absolutely random de decorating with random pieces. I can see a coal tower over here next to this uh, furnace. I could get behind that. Maybe this crane over here. I know it's a construction crane, but it doesn't have to be a construction crane if I don't want it to be. Loading areas. I know some of the stuff doesn't make sense, but it's Anno. Does anything make sense? Does anything have make sense after time in Anno? The answer to that is no, it doesn't. What's my final verdict? 5 out of 10. My verdict is a 5 out of 10. It's okay, but it's nothing to write home about. It's, you know, it, it's more stuff to decorate with, you know, and it's, but some of it's kind of janky. And some of it's kind of like whatever. So, eh. All right. They've done better, they've done worse. Please don't leave your trait unattended, sir. It does help make the industrial areas look a little more lively. With like cranes and some towers and the little loading docks, even though they're not by railroads, you could still use them as you know, and uh, kind of giving the uh, the idea that it's you know loading areas for cargo and stuff. So it does kind of liven up the industrial areas, which you know that's not bad. I'm just I'm eating a bagel because I'm freaking starving. So, you can yell at me for being unprofessional if you want, but I'm too hungry to care. So, 
though. But I mean, I mean that does look kind of cool. It gives some. It gives a little more. Because before, all we really had to decorate with were like crates and stuff. It looks realistic. No, not at all. It just looks more. It's just. It's just more stuff to look at. It's more interesting. Because before, all we really had were like cargo stacks and dirt mounds and tanks. That's it. So at least now we have some variety. We have like some buildings and some stuff like that that we can put in. So it adds a little visual variety, which, you know, I'm, I'm all for. I'm all for stuff for a little variety in my cities. guy right here is actually really cool because it can go over top of a road you know i don't think i have anywhere where it'll work at the moment if i did i would use it somewhere but i don't think i do anyway it doesn't have to go over a road but it does kind of look kind of cool if it does go over a road Uh, can I do anything back here? Nah, I don't really want to go back there with it all. What do we got here? I mean, and I, I just don't know about these pipes. Like, eh, I'm not. I've never been a fan of like above ground piping like this. I don't know. It's never really. It's never worked with me. I've tried it. Like other games have had like above ground piping like that for decoration. And I always just kind of play around with it for a bit. And then I'm like, no, that ain't going to work. And I just, and I end up deleting it. I'm, I've never been a fan of it. I do like this putting the, uh, the coal tower near a furnace because. Oh, actually it's turned around backwards, isn't it? Oh, Oh, wait. Oh, well, now that's kind of... That's a cool way to use this. That kind of lined up. Sort of. It doesn't line up perfectly, but it's not going to. That's kind of a fun little idea. Put the coal tower in front of the furnace like that. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, wait, that's not a furnace. That's a steelworks. That's the furnace. And yes. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this look like something. We take him. Put him. Like right there. Yeah, see, it looks like he's going to get he gets a load of coal and then it all gets shoveled over. It gets poured out into there. That's fun. Just weird little, odd little things you can do like that, I guess. Because why not? Put a little random pile right there. Actually, no, please do that. This is a steel works. We need steel pile piles of steel. Offset. There we go. Now it's proper steel works. But a steel pile. Like I'm so close together. Turn him around. That's yeah, not bad. Now these things right here.
just don't know about this construction site thing. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I really like the scaffolding thing. It's... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know what I would do, how I would utilize that very well. It's, uh, not really doing it for me. I mean, it's have to go. Like that? Of course, you're supposed to have it, you know, sur surrounded by uh, fencing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how I feel about the construction site stuff. I don't think it's. It's not. It's not rustling. It's not. It's not rustling my jimmies. Not feeling it. Some of the some of the construction site stuff, but the scaffolding, I, I can't seem to. Just not doing it for me. Hmm. They ever get themselves fixed? Losing population again somewhere. Now where? Up here. But not everywhere. So... Damn. Oh, it's probably... Okay, it's probably running out of something somewhere. Plenty of soap, plenty of coal... Yeah, something wasn't working. I don't care. I like it as the sides of a building. Looks like the building's in... Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking, but, like, most of the build... Like... No. I take... Are you kidding me with this get the damn citrus i'm overproducing it now i'm so tired of this i have two ships delivering all this and it's you're telling me it's still not enough I need a third ship. Get another ship. I'm gonna watch this for a second. What is he doing? Okay, come on. What are you consuming per minute? Sixteen. Ship under attack. Oh yeah, reporting in. Your people are 
Shut up, George. 16, and he was coming around every 10 minutes. So it's 160, so if I told it... Oh, stop. Stop. So I tell it, like, maybe 250 on this one as well. He's coming up there. And he's coming up here. And he's supposed to be dropping it all off up here. No, where'd you go? Okay. This is just getting so tediously boring. I'll put another ship on there and see if it works. Okay. Oh, I gotta eat this bagel before it goes stale. Hungry. What's your problem? No school? Should reach. Yeah. Man, wouldn't you hate to be these people? Living right next to the furnace. Like, they got the, like, the crap lot in life. They have to live right there. Yep, completely going to run out of citrus yet again. Even though I'm producing more, way more than enough. Cancer incoming. <laughs> Pretty much. Are right, these guys ready to upgrade? Yeah. Okay. Alright, how much did you all pick up? Okay, you're going over to pick up some. Picked up a little bit. To add a pier onto this, I guess. I don't remember what all islands I was doing this on, so we're just going to look at them all. Yeah, I am overproducing. I, well, it does say that I'm not producing all of it that I possibly can. Oh, no, it is. Weird. Whatever. Okay. Try to get more citrus in up here, then. All right, what was next? Uh, we're just kind of upgrading these homes. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. 
God. I hate how this looks. To be quite honest with you guys, I hate it. I hate how this looks so much. This just looks terrible. It is so bad. Oh, we're going to make it worse. I'm going to upgrade all these guys into skyscrapers. Oh, whoops. I... Okay, well, I just upgraded all of my investors into skyscrapers, so that's... That's a mood. The frame rate? Yeah, it's getting bad. Uh, how much did I just add? Uh, we just added six, seven thousand more people. Uh, seven thousand more investors and four thousand more artisans or engineers. Hey, we might actually get to six hundred thousand finally. All right, the good people need a department store. Well, let's give you a vacuum cleaner. Then we're going to change you out or, oh wait, I don't have one. Oh, I gotta go run to the old world. you to come over uh did somebody he had a oh he does still good in that cargo ship down to eli need some maids and my frame rate's not too awful bad um, I mean, it has its slow moments, but overall, it's not awful. I don't need him anymore. I mean, I do have a, a, a somewhat beefier rig to be able to handle that kind of stuff, so. It's not too bad. I'm just going to buy a bunch of Blue Skies maids. And, and maybe a couple of delivery services. But I definitely need the, the maids. Uh-oh. Destroy quest, huh? Destroy the schooner. I hope you find it in the uh, let's buy one more. Actually, no. Let's just go ahead and buy two more maids. Okay. Up to Crown Falls with you. Go away. I mean, do you have like, I mean, do you have a computer that can actually process and handle 4K? And yeah, and, yeah, and the games have to like, you know, not every game looks different in 4K. It might be slightly sharper, but you may not even notice that. She at? Oh, she's right here. Thirty ninety nine nine. Okay, yeah.
Yeah, I mean, I play in 1440. Um, that's pretty... Anno just doesn't run that well after the beginning. It, it, I mean, it's not bad. Mine isn't too slow. I mean, going through Crown Falls right now, obviously it's pretty bad. But, I mean, I've got almost 300,000 people on this island. And we're still out of citrus. Because this game just freaking hates me. I'm about to set up just a. I'm about to set up a citrus island and just do citrus. Just only citrus. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. Need to put some loading speed items on these. I need them to go be moving a lot faster than they are. My reputation with her at 97. My gosh, she loves me. She is... I don't know why people have such a hard time with Margaret. She is so easy to please. Like, she is just... She's awesome. Come back and you start picking up that stuff. Nope. Still have an hour left, game. Guys, at you want to pick up? How much you going to pick up? Full load. And that's going to leave almost another full load for the other. So yeah, maybe three cargo ships will fix it. It's just going to take a while. No need for 4K modern anyway. Just get a high refresh rate, 1440p, and use DLDSR uh, to push it. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, if I didn't have, like, this island going on right here, then I think I'd be okay. I think it's mostly just because, you know, my frame rate's kind of crappy, literally just because of crown falls. <laughs> It's pretty bad. Um, oh, I have no windows. Can't do anything. I have no windows right now. Uh, don't I have a trade route bringing windows? A bunch of windows right here for some reason. Now he's out of celluloid again. Why? Why? I am overproducing this stuff by, like, a metric shit ton. Why are you out of everything all the time, game? Stop being... Stop. It's so stupid. This is so dumb. I'm about to quit playing just because I'm just I, I'm tired of I'm tired of just constantly battling against the game and its stupid logistics issues. Like, cause it doesn't make any it, like it's just dumb. It's just so frustrating. Maybe I've been a conehead and they consume mess. Oh my god. That movie. <laughs> such a fun. It's such a ridiculous movie, but it was so cool when it came out. It was so cool when it came out. Uh Ham on it. Now I need even more camphor wax, which I think I already have that boosted, don't I? Yeah, I already have it boosted, of course.
I just, I, and I barely have any room for anything. Another one in right here. Oh my god, you don't know about the Conehead movies? Yes. This, it was a movie. The Coneheads were a movie. <laughs> I didn't know, no one knew, you didn't know that. No, the Coneheads are based on a movie. Okay. So, now let's just go back and check these again. So, Tokyo and Crown Falls with the... I mean, look how much... Look how... Okay, yes, that's boosted by 50%. Okay? Let me take the 50% off. Just, just, just to see. Just to be sure. Ethanol, corn, celluloid to Crown Falls, fertilizer... Make sure it's not going anywhere else. No, it's just to Crown Falls. Crown Falls and Tokyo with the celluloids. Oh. Take it off. There. I was like, wait a minute, that didn't look right. Oh, I want to double check one thing. I can't remember. Am I consuming celluloids here? I don't remember. No, it's not. Okay. Just just had to be sure. All right, so Cringetopia, Tokyo, Brown Falls. I am overproducing basically three per minute on celluloids, but I'm still running out of celluloids constantly. Like, how much sense does that make? Wait, okay, is it because I'm running out of ethanol? And how am I running out of ethanol? Because I know I'm producing enough of that. I really don't want to sit here and just keep doing this over and over. Okay. Nope, stop. This. Ethanol. Trade route. Stanyas. Down to Cringetopia. Okay. Ostanias. Okay. That's coming from Hasselside. I just need another ship on that, I guess. Give me another ship on it, I suppose. That might be what's causing the problem. I keep running out of ethanol. Even I'm producing enough ethanol. I just don't have enough ethanol. It's just not being shipped down in enough quantities, I guess. Which I don't I don't know why it's not, because it was working just fine earlier. Uh, but now randomly it's decided that it's not producing enough. Producing enough of that. I do see that our uh, cotton fabric is slightly low. Because I'm missing workers. Why am I missing workers? I, wouldn't call these I had enough. I had enough workers. Now I'm randomly not, don't have enough workers. Uh, hey, not making enough ponchos. There, have, have some more ponchos. Okay, there. Whatever, fix that then. If we look between Cringetopia, uh, Danius, and Hasselsad, yeah, I'm making way more than enough ethanol. So it's just a, it's just a, not supplying enough. Fast enough, as usual. <sighs> I 
Are you the one that was doing the, Yeah, so you're doing the ethanol and you're you're plenty fast. Keep running out. Okay. But yeah, you're just going to be annoying, I guess. Yeah, that's costing me investors down there until I can get this solved. Whatever. I feel like everyone else is blaming on supply chain issues. Yeah, kind of how it feels. All right, where's that ship at? Is that him? Yeah. Pop back up here to this. Uh, we're going to take out him and put in a maid. Good deal. And I can't upgrade any of these because I don't have any windows. Let's go get some windows. Then. Let's uh, pop him over to Winchester. Look at George down there trying to be slick and attack my one little ship. I don't know what he's doing. What are you, he's doing with random sugar cane sitting there? That's odd. All right. There comes a massive shipload of ethanol. Good deal. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Up to their eyeballs in coffee. All right. Well, I guess while we're waiting, I can do a little more. Decorating some more. Lily the fashion designer. Isn't that lovely? I took all the canals out because I was going to do something, but I'm kind of thinking I don't really care anymore. Then I might put the canals back in. I was playing around with some stuff, some ideas I have. And I'm just not sure if I want to do it now. I really don't want to go and remodel the whole city at this point. I'm kind of... I think that might give me brain damage. Go, maybe? I would like to get at least 600,000 before I end the stream today. That that I, that I That's my lofty goal for the moment. I want 600,000 population. I want to get there. I also want my coffee back. Okay. Get this thing finished up for today. All right, I want all the windows, please. Whoops. Okay, windows, everything else should be fine. I just need a lot of windows. And a stale bagel.
Oh, we're almost at 60% of our goal. I'm going to hit 1 million population and probably like put down Anno until the third DLC comes out. I have a feeling that I have a feeling that when the second when Empire of the Skies come out, that I'll still be working towards our 1 million goal population. Um, but so we'll probably integrate that DLC into this series. But the third DLC, I likely will be long over with the 1 million population, and I'll probably have be on a an extended anno break. Usually long breaks from the game help re-energize me to want to play again. Especially, you know, when I've been playing for way too long. Do I ever plan on streaming Warhammer? I might stream some Warhammer when the um when the map comes out. When they release the uh, the new map. I may do that. I, it, you know, no one's going to watch it. No one no one is going to hang out to, you know, sit around and hang out to watch me play um, Warhammer, really. But I'll still probably play it. Yeah, Immortal Empires. Yeah. Because, I mean, I do love Warhammer. I mean, I am I am actually a huge Warhammer fan. I love the Warhammer games. Um... You know, I, I tried playing it on the channel some, but it, it just no one watched it. No, I, I would get like 50 or 60 views on a video like because, you know, people on my channel, they're here for city building games. They're not here for Warhammer. So it, it never it never picked up any traction. And I, I just had to kind of quit. <laughs> I mean, I had some people that watched them. But I do love Warhammer. I I, I I I watch a lot of Warhammer actually. Um I've been watching a lot of Warhammer. Watching um Monsters Abound. It's hard to compete. Yeah, it is. The Warhammer scene is really hard to compete with. Um, you know, because there are so many big channels for Warhammer already out there. I mean, City Skylines is kind of like that. Uh, because you know you've got You've got Biffa, you've got City Planner Plays, uh, Yumble, Imperator. You've already there's already a lot of big names and stuff. But at the same time, I enjoy playing Skylines so much that it doesn't really bother me. And that I know that I know that at least with Warhammer, not Warhammer, with Skylines, that as long as I stick with it. And I have a unique way of playing the game that people will start watching it more. Um, I've been posting a lot on their subreddit and it's starting to pick up traction. Like people are, I post pictures from my cities and stuff and it's starting to drop. And I usually have a link to a YouTube video about it on the picture because Reddit is weird. Never, ever link a YouTube video on Reddit. Like just don't ever straight up link a YouTube video on, on, a, sub, on a subreddit for a game. No one ever deal get downvoted. Everyone hates it. But put some put some cool pictures and put a link to the YouTube video on the caption of the picture. And people love that. It's weird. Or put it in the comments. Reddit is so weird. <laughs> I've never understood Reddit sometimes. Like y'all are y'all are oddly ruthless about the weirdest stuff. Change my mind. I don't like this. Like that. Yeah, Reddit hates emojis. Reddit is just a weird place. The communities on Reddit are just weird sometimes, you know? I, I never could, did quite understand them. You know what? That actually does not look too bad for a nice big wide boulevard, you know? That's actually not too shabby. Ow, oh, we're getting on up there. 
We're getting we're, we're almost there, guys. About time we gave them hell. About time we gave them hell. You go give them hell. Yeah, Reddit Reddit is definitely an odd place. I mean, I'm on Reddit all the time. And even I sit around sometimes and I'm like, what is what is wrong with you people? Like Like who who hurt you as a child? Seriously. That that's how I feel about Reddit. I'm like, who hurt you as a child? I think that's the best way to describe Reddit. Who hurt you as a child? space I need I had to have all of that right there too okay no oh, he does need to turn around like that yeah reddit has reddit does have some like Decent uses and stuff for like, you know, like you said, like networking and things like that. It is pretty useful for certain things. Now, I finished figuring out what to do in the middle of this little whatever this is I've created right here. There we go. A little bit bigger. Um, okay. So that's a three... Perfect. The Folk. Thank you for that brand new subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in. I appreciate that so much. Always love seeing new faces. <laughs> Just too cute. I don't know about that. I am a cranky old man. Many people will attest to this. I am a cranky old man. Supposed to go that way. You're supposed to go this way. There we go. Big fan of my videos on YouTube. Very important. Awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Glad that the videos are very helpful for you. I don't know what to do here. I'm, I'm really bad at making these little squares. The punk kid calls himself old. I'm older than I look. I promise. I am I am much older than I appear. Eh. Need a big lawn and a porch. I do have a big lawn and a porch. Uh there's just no kids that live around here, so I just I yell at neighborhood cats that come over and try to eat my cat's food. So that that's who I yell at. I yell at the neighborhood cats. That's all I've got. Hmm. When all this fails, just temperate grove. It looks so stupid. I don't know what to do with this space that I've created here. It's a weird space, and now I don't know what to do with it. 
Um. Hmm. <sighs> Just nothing that's like jumping out that I could do right there. Oh, shut up, lady. Fountain? I don't... Leave it road? I mean, honestly... Skyline fountain? No, it do it's all... It doesn't... It's off-centered. No, like, honestly... Looking at, like, pictures and stuff of, like, cities from the 19th century... This literally would just be one big... It would, it would probably look just like that. It would just be a big blank square. There'd be nothing in it. It'd just be a big, wide open blank square like that. And that's literally all it would be. Because they were, they, they just had big, wide open blank. And like, they would have market days, I guess. And people would come in and they would set up stalls and do little markets and stuff like that. Which I guess that's what I could do. What we could do. Make, make a little market out of it. Um... Not with a market hall, but maybe just the market stalls around the edges. Like that. that that's literally what, what it would look like. It's a bunch of market stalls. They got the middle one so people can get into it, I guess. Motor assembly line blew up. Okay, I'll go back and fix that later. Yep, that, that's about what I would see in pictures. Just a big market. big A big blank area with a market in it. Very simple. It's boring, but that's what they would do. Need something in the middle though, I can't handle it. Let's just be a little ridiculous and put a fountain in the center. There we go. Lovely. Wildcard, thank you for the follow. Thank you, welcome in. Need a drive through coffee shack ornament. <laughs> yeah. And I'm losing population now. Where? Up here. Probably ran out of something again. Somewhere. Is it him again? Yeah. Keeps something up here. Something is running out of something somewhere, and that's what's causing that. Got plenty of this, plenty of that. Still on fire. Okay, we, we're running out of lacquer. That's the problem. We're running out of lacquer. All of our lacquer is being made right here. Let's see what's happening here. All right, so your ethanol is coming from Chapelle Cypress. The fire left ruins behind. It's all coming from over here, and then it's going to uh, Rosenstad and Winchester. Making enough. We are making enough there. I probably just need a better ship than that uh, clipper. Or I could just add another clipper onto it. Uh, I've, got an, I've got a spare clipper right there. The early bird. Just add another clipper onto it. That'd work. Okay. That'll, that'll take care of that problem. What's up, Kaskar? Yeah, long time no see. How you been? Oh, 
PZ True Love, how do you get those buildings lighting up in that color? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not following. Well, here we go with the random, the random dropping population. Is this going to start doing this to me again? Not there. Not up here. Um, oh, hold on. Now I got to figure out where I'm randomly dropping population at. Investors are dropping somewhere. Over here, maybe? Yeah, it's over here on this little guy. Coffee. Give us all the coffee, then. Okay, yeah, it's just copy running out over there. How do you get those? And if you click on the tower, oh, 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 um, this guy right here. Are you talking about this down here? Is this what you're asking about, uh, True Love? Uh, those are just the um, the shopping arcades. So you, you click on it. You can actually click on that bar. You click on this bar and it tells you. It's just the shopping arcades for the skyscrapers. It just tells and it tells you which uh, recipes you have not fulfilled in order to get more population. That's all that is. Gaining our population back over here slowly but surely. And my other ships should... Yeah, they're back. They were back a long time ago, of course. All the buildings were blue. I... 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 I don't... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not understanding what you're talking about. Fear of influence indicator? I'm trying to think what I had been clicking on that... Are you talking about that? I, I'm not... I don't know what I clicked on. But I never clicked on any of that. I... Yeah, that's just that's the Iron Tower. I, I, I'm confused now. What about it? I'm sorry. I'm I'm confused now. What about it? <laughs> Give 
Get my population back. May lose this over here again, because I'm probably going to run out of coffee. Yeah, we're going to run out of coffee. When's he coming around? Eight minutes? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have to go back and redo all of my stuff over here, because we're probably going to run out of everything over here. Well, it's got to upgrade. It it does. That color is like it. It's just an indicator color. It doesn't mean anything really. It's it's just the color of that the that the game uses to indicate that something is within range of a building that has some sort of effect. That's that's all that means. Yeah, it, it doesn't it it's not like a special it's not like a special color for trade unions or something. It's just the color that comes up whenever you have a building that affects other buildings around it. That that's all that is. Can you show a little bit about how you do layouts? I use the 10 square when I saw in your video, but I guess I don't have a great dimension. I'll make it all look nice in your towns. Uh, I don't really do layouts. I just kind of build. I, I kind of have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like vaguely. And then I just kind of start going from there. The 10 by 10, uh, we actually... I actually started this series with the 10 by 10, or, or a variation of the 10 by 10, rather. And I was showing some different ways you could break it up to make it look more interesting. I'm I'm not following True Love. I'm I'm really sorry. I, I don't I don't mean to be difficult. I'm just I'm not following what you're talking about with the blues. Like like what's the what is the question or your issue? What you're trying to understand with the blue square around buildings? I. I want to understand and maybe try to explain something to you if you're confused, but I don't know what you're trying to ask. Uh, but anyways, the 10 by 10, where did I, um, over here, I think. This. Okay, yeah. This island was done with a lot of 10 by 10s. Okay. This has a lot of 10 by 10 in it. And like I haven't even I never really even went back and decorated it because I couldn't be bothered. Um But with a 10 by 10, you don't have to make it just a giant grid of 10 by 10. Break it up. Um, you know, put in boulevards, you know, put in two, three, four tile wide sections that won't have anything in it and use it for, you know, decorations or something like that. Make it make a Make some 10 by 10s, and but then make them offset from each other to surround like a square and then put like a little fountain. Uh, you could do things like that. Take out parts of the 10 by 10, make your 10 by 10, and then like take half of it out and put, you know, a service building or a factory or something over there. It's all kinds of things like that. You know, when you do the like do a 10 by 10. You can you can totally change it up and kind of make it however you want, or you could even mix in stuff in between the ten by tens. Have a few ten by tens, and then put like just some rows of like a two by six of housing in between, just to break it all up. I think we've got an island right here, and this island is pretty much all done with ten by ten, uh, and some modified areas because it wouldn't a ten by ten wouldn't fit in. So it's like we've got ten by tens all through here. And then I did like some rows of buildings and then we picked back up with a 10 by 10 and I kind of broke it up and I changed things out, uh, left in larger boulevards in between stuff, made some squares and plazas. So there's a lot you can do with it. I think what a lot of people do is they just get stuck thinking, you know, 10 by 10 and they just make a big grid of 10 by 10s and then it does look very repetitive and boring. But if you, you have to go in and break it up and change it up a little bit, and you can actually make it look really interesting. 
thought the blue color was a new way of showing off the buildings as the effect by no it, it's just the blue thing is just how it's always been it's just been like that it's just the color that they've always used for uh showing buildings hey we passed six hundred thousand people awesome we finally passed six hundred thousand global population finally Finally, we passed it. And we're going to run out of coffee right there. We're going to lose a bunch of population. But I don't even care because we met our population goal. There's there's Tobias. And he's going to come and drop off a whole bunch of uh, coffee for us. And we'll bring that coffee over and we'll have coffee again. Yay, 600,000. Only 400,000 more to go, and I could be done with this stupid project. Because <laughs> I'm so tired of it. So tired of it. Should I do... Should I do a min-max island? Ogre's gonna say yes, if Ogre's still here. I don't even know if he's still here or not. Ogre would say yes, do it. But should I do a min-max island? I know this is... I was doing like a beauty building thing. I kind of strayed away from that because I'm like... Ugh. I wonder if I should do a, a min-max island. I mean, Crown Falls is almost filled in. I got to fill in right here. We got some places to fill in. All this is going to be stay as farmland. This is all staying as farmland. Uh, we're going to have some housing back around in these areas. But I mean, Crown Falls is almost completely filled in. And God, it looks... It's raining, of course. And geez, is it just a mess of a city is a mess of a city. I want to take a screenshot of this. Oh, stop raining. I would like to I would like to take a screenshot without the rain. If I wasn't too old. Oh, hey. I post Pepe and Pog emojis and I'm probably too old for it. Not having too much fun with this huge it's, it, I don't know. I wouldn't say that I'm not having fun. It's kind of just like you have to have a lot of space in Crown Falls. I, not really. No. Uh, so, Kanga, all of this, all of this is going to be farmland and orchards. So, this is already spoken for farmlands and orchards. This will get housing. This will get housing. This is going to be some industry. And then this gets housing. Honestly, that's not much space. It, in the in the big scheme of it all, that's not a lot of space. Um, I might can fit maybe another hundred thousand in that, roughly. With the you know with the way I'm building it, I could probably fit maybe another hundred k, roughly ish, right in there. Somewhere around that figure. I mean, I could probably fit in another four hundred thousand on this island. If I just upgraded everything to level fours and level fives, and just and just said screw it, and just upgraded everything as as much as I could, and just have one giant sea of skyscrapers, which it's kind of turned into, of course, it is just a giant sea of sky. Oh look, the rain's over. I can get a picture. Look at that frame rate. God. Oh, man, that is just hideous. How many people do we have on the island now? 277,000? That's really not that much. You could fit a whole lot more on here. If I was being diligent about, you know, everything.
I could fit a whole lot more on here. Ooh, me. Mm. Oh, shut up. I don't care. The more I look at this, the more I don't. Don't really like this. Oh, wait. I like that. I'm going to change this up again. Not feeling that. Ah, took out the wrong road. Take that part out. The big wide roads just bother me for some reason. The, the more I look at them, the more I'm like, nah, I can't do that. I just, I can't do it. I can't leave it like that. Something about it just absolutely irks me to no end. Shot my battleship. I wonder who's sinking her battleship all the time. Because she's comp constantly complaining about somebody sinking her battleship. Bringing this in a little bit closer to this boulevard. Open that up. Him. I can actually scoot him back a little bit and gain a little bit of room right there in front. Line that up better. I mean, it's basic, but I don't know. I kind of like that a little bit better. Just, I just can't do the wide open roads. They just, just don't work with me. Just don't work for me. 